Hey, I am officially one year post-op. This year has been crazy for a variety of reasons, and it's hard to believe that it's already been a year since my surgery. I feel so fortunate to have gone to Dr. Wolf and have worked with his team and of course get surgery right before COVID started. That was all such a whirlwind and it's hard to believe that a year is already over. I have been, I would say, mostly happy with my results. A lot of things I've already talked about in my other videos. I kind of thought, okay, they say that, you know, you're not, you, you shouldn't get revisions until a year post-op. So things will settle, things will change. But one thing I noticed is that problem areas that I have are didn't change over time. So, you know, all in all, I mean, my scars faded a lot, like, just to show you, show you side profile if I have good posture here, I'm happy, um, you know, but of course I'm like nitpicking little things that I am, tossing back and forth about getting a revision. Sometimes I think, oh yeah, I definitely want to see if I can get that changed. And other times I'm like, oh no, I can live with this. So I don't want to hyper focus on those things, but um, I thought maybe people watching this could give me some advice. So main thing is what I've talked about before, kind of like this indent here. There seems to be kind of like, ex sometimes, sometimes if I go like this, you can tell like I have extra tissue here, it feels like, or extra skin. And I don't know, maybe that can't go away. Um, but that's probably the main thing that bothers me. But if I'm like sitting up straight or laying down, you know, you, you can't notice. And then the other thing is just this one, this one nipple. It just, the lighting sucks right now, but you can tell like it's kind of like up here instead of in the center like this one. That one looks really natural and this one just looks like just weird, I think. But <laughs> who sees it besides myself and maybe like, you know, if I'm dating someone at the time. So again, not a huge deal. So I might take photos and send them to Dr. Wolf now that it's been a year and see if he's doing revisions at this time just to see. I have been pretty good with scar care. I would say the first six to nine months every day, twice a day, I was using cocoa butter on my scars. Um, I also tried bio oil and as you can tell I did not use much because I really didn't like how greasy it felt. This was kind of more like a lotion and easier to soak in but even after a while I stopped putting this on because it would soak right through my shirt. So like if I was going to work I put that on and then I put on my button down it would show <laughs> It would show right through it and it was really gross and it's like why the hell do you have grease marks like going across your shirt like that? So I think that's kind of why I stopped. I know in the last few months I've been pretty bad about putting it on But I've also been happy with how much my scars have faded One other little problem there is just kind of like this spot right here is a little more stretched in the rest Like you can can't really even see that part of my scar except right there. So Don't know what happened uh but I'm hoping that they continue to fade in the next couple years uh, would be nice. My main goal, I think, in this next year is, and I talked about it in another video, I want to start working out so I can build my chest up more. I plan to do that after I had surgery, but then, like, with everything with COVID, I got really nervous about it. And I have a little bit of a home gym here, but it's not enough to really... Uh, do what I want. So sign up for that gym membership and see if I can get some results. I don't expect to be big and bulky by any means, but uh, a little bit of definition would be nice instead of being a stick. But yeah, I'm, you know, looking in the mirror recently, I've just been feeling good. I mean, this whole year has been life-changing for me having surgery, and I'm excited to get out this summer and be able to be you know, at the beach or the pool without a shirt on finally, because you have to keep them, of course, covered from the sun for a year. So that's something to look forward to. And yeah, just my transition at this point, I'm feeling really good about it and good about myself. 
that's about all I have. If you have questions about surgery or Dr. Wolf, then just let me know. All right. See you later.